What is up, guys? Welcome back to the show. I hope everyone has been blessed by the Almighty today with good health. Come along with me today as we go take a deep, deep dive into Guyana Power and Light, the modernization of the power grid and the infrastructure work, and also the gas to energy project in Wales. Let's go take a deep dive into it and let's go explore exactly what's going on and when we can stop experience blackout in this country. Back a few years ago, Guyana Power and Light was in a difficult situation because the demand was much greater than the supply for power, right? So they were put into this situation to where we needed a lot more power. So they went to Turkey and they rented two power ships, one placed in the Burbese River and this one here, this is in the Demerara River. Right, when I tell you these numbers, you probably won't even believe me, right? They signed a two-year lease on these, on these two ships and for the two-year lease, it cost Guyana 26.2 billion Guyana dollars or equal in around 170 million US. And this is for two years to power these ships. And this is to add 70 or 80 megawatts for the two years to the power grid to power the country, right? To add to the power infrastructure to, to increase the supply, right? To increase the supply so it meets the demand. But when I heard these numbers, I, I couldn't actually believe it, right? So, but as a lot of you guys know, Guyana did discover oil and they also discovered a lot of natural gas, right? So the natural gas will, will be converted into power, into energy, and that will, that will um, these ships won't be needed any longer, right? So this is why they signed a two-year contract and they're building an oil, I mean, a gas to energy project in Wales so when that project is up and running, these ships, they won't need these ships anymore. So they're going to use that natural gas to power the, the power grid for the, the power system for GPL, for Guyana Power and Light. And if all those big numbers were just too big, just to break it down, the two ships between the Burbies River, uh, River ship and the uh, Demerara River ship, they cost around 50,000 US dollars per day to operate. And that's times two years, right? So that's how they, uh, that's how you would come up with that number.
This here is the Guyana National Control Center, and it costs an estimated 18.6 million U.S. dollars. And the government says that this, uh, this will be the infrastructure backbone to modernize the country's electricity system. They say that the arches there in the front that's gonna that's gonna house um, that's gonna be all solar panels. So basically, the solar panel will probably power this whole building, and it'll also store power to send to the grid. I'm sure. Once operational, the state-of-the-art facility will house the supervisory control data acquisition system, a digital command hub capable of monitoring, controlling, and optimizing electricity distribution in real time across the Demerara and Burby's interconnected system. Officially, officials say that this upgrade will drastically reduce system interruptions, improve efficiency, and strengthen overall grid reliability. In terms, what this means is, you know, blackout will be in another year or so, blackout will be something of ancient times, right? In this country, blackout is going to be history, especially when the new gas to energy project comes up and it's up and running. You know, I think that thing's supposed to power like 300 megawatts is what it powers, right? So those ships, those are going to be obsolete. They won't be needed anymore and we'll give them back to Turkey and Guyana will supply its own power, right? The project forms part of the wider gas to energy initiative, which aims to deliver affordable, reliable, cleaner electricity to Guyanese household and businesses. So we just have to wait it out. And when it gets, when it's up and running, this is what we'll enjoy. No more blackouts and power. We don't have to rent power anymore from anyone because Guyana will make its own power from natural gas. This here is just a rendering of the finished product of the building itself. This is what it's supposed to look like when it's finished. And of course, this right here, this is the star of the show. This is the gas to energy project in Wales there, right? And this, this, this the cost of this project here is 1.8 billion US dollars is what this cost. And this job sat idle for a long time, for maybe a year or two years. But as of lately, in the past four months, right, it, it steadily picked up pace. I think they had to do soil compaction tests and a whole bunch of different tests, but all their tests passed and they, they started, this thing started picking up pace. They just hired like 200 new employees to work here to, to speed up the pace to get it done. Guyana's primary natural gas facility is an integrated complex, which includes a 300 megawatt power plant and a natural gas liquid processing plant. The, f the facility receives gas via subsea pipeline from Exxon Mobil offshore Stabrook block with phase one of the project aiming to process about 50 million cubic feet of gas daily to generate electricity and produce natural gas liquids. The goal is to reduce Guyana's reliance on heavy fuel for power generation, significantly lowering electricity costs for consumers. And in terms of what this means for consumers is, you know, gas, cooking gas is $4,500, $4,700, say 25 bucks US, right? It's 25 bucks now. But I did hear the president say when everything is up and running and running and you were getting the gas, gas price will go down completely. Your cooking gas will be only a thousand dollars, right? It'll be five dollars. So from twenty five dollars, it'll drop to five dollars, which is almost like an 80 percent saving. You can't beat that. And the purpose of this is to reduce the cost and environmental impact on electricity generation by replacing heavy fuel oil with cleaner natural gas. The natural gas transported from Exxon, Exxon Mobil's offshore Liza field will be through pipelines and the power plant will, um, the power plant will uh, produce 300 megawatt power, power, right? Of electricity for domestic use and also the natural gas. So, you know, it's a plus plus, it's a win-win for Guyana. They will no longer depend on anyone else or they won't have to pay, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars 
to get power from other countries because Guyana has its own power. And this is, this has to be a benefit for everyone, me, you, and the country as in a whole, you know? And like I've said, you know, this is, this here is the, what it will look like when it's completed. And just to add that main something, the end of the month power bill that you receive, the savings on that is gonna be extreme. And as usual, guys, I appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace, love, and happiness. I'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. All right, bye.